Hello friends, Marcy here. I'm having a wonderful evening um, sitting at the table in my office um, in front of an open window. The weather's glorious. It's kind of overcast. The wind's blowing. The sound of the wind is very relaxing. And I just want to sit here and share some more of my fun pen stuff with you. Um, of course, this is a shipment from Endless Pens. These are Midori paper envelopes that I ordered, um, I discovered, and I also have a loose leaf um, Midori paper that I'm gonna put in my little letter writing kit, and I thought those were just um, fabulous. There's not very many in here. That's only a pack of like eight, but I found them at Endless Pens. They were on sale, and they're also available at Jet Pens if um, Endless Pens runs out. So actually when I use this, I'll um, try to do a writing test. If I'm not able to show you addresses as I use them for letter writing, um, I can do a sample on uh, the loose leaf paper. Um, so anyway, as you can see here, we have another Pelican pen. And this one, um, I'm gonna hurry and get in here. It doesn't say on the side what it is, but um, until I discovered it uh, at the website, I had never seen or heard of this brand before. Let's see my little metal ruler that I'm usually using. We'll use the big one. Anyway, I was um, quite surprised to discover this brand, or not this brand, but this model of the Pelican. Am I doing this wrong? Okay, yeah, that is a magnetic. So the box is very much um, like the other Pelican models. Inside the front top cover, it says uh, Passion. So it's a warranty booklet underneath. And the little leatherette pouch that um, we've discovered in other Pelican pen boxes, but look at this gorgeous. Oh, that's very slender. That's a little more slender than I was expecting. Of course, I do love the, the Pelican pens. I'm gonna have to move that white uh, towel off and then bring it back when I when I use the ink. Um, Cause I'd like to have some contrasting background. There we go. And get a little closer. Okay, so it is a metal I'll have to look up and post um, what kind of metal it is, but it's not acrylic resin. And it's a, it has a frosty, the depth has a, a frosty pearlescent look to it. I, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but it's pretty. All right, and I, let me grab um, some other Pel Pelican uh, models to compare to. Well, that was perfect timing as I, um, got up to get my tray of other Pelican pens. The doorbell was ringing, so Amazon, Amazon. They usually don't ring the doorbell. That was kind of odd. Anyway, um, chit chat. So these are my other Pelican models. They're all M200. No, most of them are M200. The Smoky Quartz, the Moonstone, the Blue Marble, uh, the Golden Barrel, and then the White Tortoise. White and tortoise shell is an M400. Um, they're all the same size. The only difference is these are steel nibs and this one's uh, gold. And then this one is an M1, M106. Um, it's a retro um, pen. So love it, love it, love it. As you can see there, it's a pocket pen and it's just about the size of all the others. Anyway, so. Those are the Pelican models, and these this is um, not the same. I guess the clip would tend, which one would show a clip? A oh, good, nope, let me get the silver one. So on this model, and I will tell you the name of this model um, is called Jazz Elegance. So I've never heard of this before. You can see the differences here in that clip. This one kind of, uh, bridges goes over and then has a little lip there. The style's almost the same here. 
um, but it does not have a ring around the top as this one does. The silver band, the Pelican name here, which on this model, it's on the silver band. I don't know if I can focus in and show you that. There we go. So quite a few differences. Um, first being the, the product um, material. And this is like the cigar shape. Look at this taper down, almost like a paintbrush um, on the end. So let's look inside. And I will compare the weight of this pen to some other um, Pelican models of the acrylic resin. So is it clip? No, nope. I'm twisting. I'll probably, no, hold on. <laughs> new pen I gotta figure out how it works okay so it's not um, a twist off cap it's a snap on cap I like that I gotta lose hair from my head all right and um, this is a metal grip section very slender let's look at let's see if we can pull this tray in I don't want my pens to roll off into the floor and have a I may issue. Let's do something silver um, on the moonstone. Okay, my moonstone is looks like fine, and this one is also a fine. I don't know where it notates that on the nib, but it is on my paperwork. So it's called Jazz Elegance. And the nib size is a little different. So the nib on the Jazz Elegance is shorter than on the M200. Let's look at the feed. Very minimal um, uh, feed section here. This one's a lot taller. It even extends above the shoulders there really pay too much attention to that kind of detail on the feeds wow and then the grip section okay so again on the M200 there is a um, a finial with the mama pelican and this one has nothing, just a slant. Um, I'm, I'm quite surprised and impressed with this pen. Um, of course, writing it with it will be a tell-all, but um, <laughs> the cost was like $15. It was on sale, I believe, $15, and then I got another discount. I ended up paying $12.75 for this pen, and it's gorgeous. It was, however, only available in two colors. Um, oh, there's, I guess it's a medium nib. I said fine. Um, black or white. So only two color choices. And we'll um, get some ink in here and, and see how that nib performs. Um, I do need to show you that it did come with a very long... Um, cartridge and Pelican uses well all my other Pelicans are um, piston piston fill so I did order a um, a Pelican I don't know I see some writing here I'm sorry 22G I just saw some little orange letters there I'm trying to see what that meant I did order a Pelican um, converter from another um, pen company, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I think I'll just go ahead and put the um, cartridge to use. We'll do a writing test. And then when I do get my converter, uh, the proprietary uh, Pelican converter that's coming, I believe next Tuesday from Atlas Stationers, uh, I'm going to try Pure Pens. This was a sample gift from a pen friend, Gail.
And I do have the window open, so I will try to um, cut out the traffic noise as it uh, appears. Um, let's see, is this postable? Yeah, it is. Securely, it pulls securely. No rattling, no slipping. That's interesting, surprising. And posted, because the weight is not too heavy, it might be a little long, but no longer than a a standard um, ink pen, I think. So before I ink it up, let's do a quick uh, weight sample. And so I know sometimes when I watch my videos, the um, digital number is being blocked by the light uh, glare. So I'm trying to to get you in there where it doesn't happen like that. Oh wow, 24 grams, I'm surprised. It doesn't seem like it's that heavy to me. So in comparison, the uh, M400 is less than 16 grams must be that metal material. Okay. Curiosity answered. Unsatisfied. So let's pop that um, nib is kind of plain. Actually, before I ink it up, let me just pop over and grab. This is my flush jar. I have um, three, six, I have eight pens that need to be cleaned and flushed that are in this jar. I, I think I have one more in my my school work bag, but uh, the Pelican Twist is one of those that needs to be cleaned and flushed. And let's look. That's also a medium nib. It's funny. This was either eighteen or nineteen dollars uh, from Jet Pens. Oh, very different. The nib on this one looks much like the uh, the Lamy. Okay, and that pen needs to be clean, so there's no, no uh, real writing comparison right now. Anyway, back to popping in this cartridge. And because this is a cartridge fill, I'm going to have to allow some time... Um, for the uh, ink and gravity to get some ink down into the nib, into the nib feed for an adequate uh, writing sample. So I'm going to pause and I'll return in a quick moment. So we're back and ready to show uh, the nib and ink on this new pen. And. Um, I did give it a, oh, I'm going to go ahead and post that because it was comfortable enough. It's not back heavy, back heavy at all. It's very comfortable to hold like this and like this as well. But it's really elegant to look at. I guess hence the name, Jazz Elegance. So, wow. Oh, yeah. So this must be just a Pelican brand of ink. And... The very first um, full bottle of ink I purchased was uh, Pelican. It was Pelican Turquoise. Jazz Elegance, and this is a medium nib with the included uh, cartridge. And it seems to be a very quick drying ink. So nice on the Rhodia dot pad. The nib is very smooth. It um, feels very much like a wet uh, medium or a very soft, smooth medium. Very enjoyable. So when my 
um, converter comes in that I ordered from Atlas uh, Stationers, then I'll be able to choose a new ink. But until then, I can do some happy writing with this wonderful blue Pelican ink. And I would very much love to know if y'all have ever heard of this model of pen because it's quite affordable. I mean, even without my discount, it was $15. That looks um, much more than a $15 pen. I don't know. It writes smoothly. Um, I'm very satisfied with that. Now I want to go back and order the black one. Anyway, I will put a link for this pen down below. I think it is a great pen for a great price. And thank you for spending some of your moments with me. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.